This is the greatest video ever made on how to make text in DaVinci Resolve. We'll go through how to add it and how to stylize it, and it's gonna be the best. I'm excited you're here. Let's do it. So I have a cool cinematic shot here, and I wanna add some text over it like this. All right, and we are in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve right now. First thing we do is we open up the effects panel. I'll close my media pool so we can get a bigger list here. And under toolbox, under titles, we have several different options here. The simplest and in some ways the best way to add just simple text to your video is just to use this basic title text right here. I'm gonna take this and just drag this down on top of my video track here and it's going to put text here in our viewer. And so now when I play this back, that's going to show up right here. Now, we want this to be a little bit fancier, right? We want it to be a little bit nicer. Well, with our text selected here, that's going to populate our inspector with all of the properties for our text. So here's where we can change the actual text. So let's just call this uh, Thursday. We'll just pretend this is a little ad for something that's happening Thursday, right? I always think of the dramatic TV shows like this Thursday on some kind of creek. <laughs> <laughs> but we can change the font family. I'll switch it to Poppins. I like Poppins a lot. We'll just go with Poppins extra bold. And I like to push up the tracking a little bit too. So there we go. There's a nice little Thursday. We can change the size. One thing I would recommend is that you don't make your fonts too big. I would keep them relatively small in the frame. It's just easier to make it look good when your fonts are small. It's harder to make them look good when they're big. You have to really kind of know what you're doing when it comes to design in order to make that effective. So I don't know, I like to keep it pretty small, something like that, maybe. So yeah, we can adjust the tracking, that's the spacing in between the letters, the line spacing if we have multiple lines, the font case, the alignment, as well as the anchor of the text, which is kind of where it kind of aligns to. So by default, it's gonna be right there in the center, but you can move it to the left or the right or the top or the bottom, depending on how you want your text to be situated. You can also add a stroke to the text, so I can push up this stroke size. We'll just zoom in here a little bit. And we can change the color of the stroke. Depending on the style that you're going for, you can make that happen. You can also check outside only, which is going to keep the width of those letters and it's just going to expand the stroke out. We'll just take this down. We can also add a drop shadow. And to enable this drop shadow, we have to push this offset over just a little bit. So as I push that over, that's going to make this soft drop shadow. And I can adjust the blur on it and the opacity. And again, depending on the style, you may want to adjust that. Sometimes a very blurry, subtle drop shadow can really help with the readability. You can also reset things at any time using these little circle arrow buttons. Sometimes I like to take the blur down and push the Y parameter down like this so that we have just this little subtle dimension to those letters. We can also add a background, which by default has its height set at zero. And so as I push this height up, it kind of scales up that background. And now we can have this kind of dark overlay, which I guess is kind of an underlay <laughs> because it's under the text, but it's over the background. You can adjust the corner radius, all kinds of stuff there. Can make this wider so we can have kind of a strip there that looks nice sometimes. Adjust the center of it. There's a lot of stuff that you can do just with this basic text. And so if you're brand new to any kind of motion graphics, I would really recommend just staying with that because there is plenty to stylize your text and make it look fancy, make it look professional right here just in this basic text. Once you have it looking the way you want, I think I'll just turn off my background. I kind of like it like this. Maybe I'll push the tracking up a little more, something like that. Once you have it looking how you want, you want to adjust the timing here in the timeline. Let's have this just kind of fade in, which we can do a few different ways. But I think what I'll do is just open up this track a little bit and I'll grab this little white handle and I'll move it this way. And what that will do is make a fade right here. And so that's going to fade this in like that. Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? It's really, really easy to make this kind of thing. And it looks high class, doesn't look cheesy. Yeah, text, baby. But let's say we want just a little bit of a different style. Well, that's where I would recommend the multi-text. So I'll just delete that. And we're gonna go up here to multi-text like this. I'll grab this and drag this down and it works the same way. The difference is that multi-text is actually using the power of the fusion page. So that's this page right here, the page you probably ignore in Resolve <laughs> because it's frankly very scary. But the great news is that we can make really fancy titles here in the edit page using a lot of the power of Fusion without going into Fusion. So let's just keep with our Thursday vibe, just type Thursday. And we have a lot of similar things here. 
we can put in our text here, we can put in our font and our paragraph and all that stuff. And so I'll just find this same kind of thing, Poppins, sure, extra bold, push the tracking up a little bit. We're having, we're having kind of a similar thing here, but we have some extra features. So up here, we have all these other little tabs and so we can go into the layout tab and this is where we can adjust the position and the rotation of our text but you can also change the type and this is where it gets really interesting so this by default is a point type of text which means that it uses a point as kind of its center it's kind of anchor point but you can also switch this to text box and what text box does is it actually makes a box, an invisible box, and any text that you put into it, it's going to keep it within the box. You can kind of think of this as a little mini page and it's going to wrap the words so that it makes multiple lines and it always fits inside of this box. So we're going to say wrap to text box. I'll go back to my text here and we can type all kinds of stuff. This is the text that goes in the box. It doesn't matter how much text we have, it's gonna stay in the box. All right, let's take this size down. We can adjust the paragraph, which is the alignment and the justification. And so let's justify this, let's say to the left and align it to the left. And now we have all of this kind of stacked in there and it's kind of, the tracking's kind of messing this up. So let's reset the tracking. There we go. The text that goes in the box. And as I push the size up of this text, it's not going to go past this point. It's gonna kind of keep in this box. So we'll kind of take the size down and just kind of size this using the size of the text as well as the width of the box. And then I think I like keeping it justified like this, maybe middle justified. And so this is great if you want to type a bunch of credits or a whole bunch of text that you want to stay on screen kind of within a box. In fact, if you want to see that box, you can go over here to this little icon in the lower left and you can go down to fusion overlay. Again, this title is making use of Fusion, kind of behind the scenes. So when we click Fusion Overlay, we actually get to see the box that we are using, and we can move this around and kind of dynamically change the size of this. Isn't that great? So we can kind of move this around and get our box to be just right. And we really have a lot of control over how our text is laid out here. So this is something that's unique to the multi-text. This third icon over here, we can also go to layout and say type instead of text box, we could go to circle and that's going to type this around in a circle. Of course, we need to adjust the size and everything to make sure that works, but we can do that kind of thing, which is really neat. So the reason this is called multi-text is not because we have multiple types of text, but we can actually add multiple different layers of text within this one effect. So let's kind of go back and let's, let's do our Thursday thing. We'll size this up, give it some tracking. By the way, every time I type Thursday, I think of the band Thursday, who I really like. I think they're great. If you like the band Thursday, how about you tell me in the comments below? But we have that. And then let's say we want to add another line down here, you know, 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. or something. We can click one of these buttons and that's going to add a new layer of text into our text list here. So here's text one. I'll take this and drag this down. And now let's say, you know, 8 o'clock p.m. like that and we can move this down. Let's change our font. Let's go to old Poppins Light. Yeah. Take the size down a little bit, push the tracking out a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. So now we have our text here, Thursday at 8 p.m. Yeah, that looks good. And each one of these items in the list has its own layout and colors and all of that stuff. In fact, if you go to this shading tab right here, there's all kinds of cool things you can do like changing the color, glowing it and blurring it, adding outlines and drop shadows and all kinds of cool stuff you can do for every single line of this multi-text and you can have a ton of different lines. And it's all within this one multi-text effect here on the timeline. Isn't that crazy? You can do all kinds of cool stuff right here in the edit page and you can make some nice graphics for your videos. Speaking of nice graphics, we have a free mini course whoops, right there. It's called Amazing Graphics in Five Minutes or Less. We go through some really cool techniques in the Fusion page that are really easy. All you have to do is follow along. You'll learn a lot about motion graphics as well as a little bit about Fusion. If you want more graphics and tech stuff, well, how about you let me know and maybe I'll make another video because that's how it works on YouTube.